Saving! Saving complete! I just noticed that that actually was on my gamepad as well at the same time there, and I'm just like, whoa, what is this? That was weird. Cause I can just see it in the corner of my eye, and it's, it's kind of weird. But yeah, so let's check the carnival. Switch Scramble Circus. Alright. Um... I... Am I supposed to like... Oh, I think, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do, is I press on all the buttons. Cause it's like Super Mario Galaxy. And I want to hit those things, but I don't want to at the same time, because it was... Wow! Okay, so this is... This is very interesting. Oh, the bees! Not the bees! Also, does anybody ever notice that those bees look exactly like the same way that the bees do in, uh... Super Mario... No, not Super Mario. It looks the same as the bees in that other game. Which is Banjo-Kazooie! Yes, that's what you call it. What do I... What do I... Oh, that's a jump pad. Okay, now we know. Now we know. The more you know... That's not even close to being what it's supposed to be. Climb up the wall before it disappears! Oh, man! The bees, the bees! Oh, so I guess that that, that move does actually... Maybe it, like, homes on to people, sort of? It's, it's like that game, which is Sonic. Ah! <laughs> Just had to scratch up the walls a little bit. Because, you know, if you're a cat, you always gotta do that. And then it just annoy people. It's like, oh, why are you scratching up my furniture? Well, I, I just felt like uh, sharpening my claws and stuff, you know? That's, that's perfectly normal. Perfectly normal entirely. Just run around this side. Ugh. And then go around this way, even though that's probably the most inefficient way of doing this. Unless I can run on top. I'm a genius. So I wonder, like, are the shapes changing each time? Because that one was like a heart, so that's... It's almost as good as Heart the Singer, maybe. I, I, I don't know. Oh, go down. Let's see if I can actually do the red coins for once, because I always screw that up. Yay! I don't actually want a Fire Flower, though. I was hoping it was just going to give me a one-up. So we need more than ten one-ups. What? Only... Only ten? That's like nothing. That's like, uh... Oh no! Okay, I'm just gonna go into this little thing down here. The box! The box! Okay, I think that I was actually supposed to be using, uh... The fire flower. And I guess that I chose... I chose correctly right off the bat. Because, uh, You know, I always go left. Going to the left is always the best option. Which is good that, like, the people that make Mario, maybe, actually are, uh... Right-handed. So I think that's is that a normal thing. I think for people that people that are uh, right-handed are more likely to actually you know just go to the left than somebody that's uh, right-handed. I mean left-handed. So if you're left-handed, you go to the right. That's why everything in the Zelda games you always have to go to the right side to like go onward and so on. At least that's what it seems like. Yeah. Perfect timing. I just didn't find any stamp on this level. I just noticed that now. Oh no! Must go onto the pads! Ah! Hmm. If I go up this wall, I don't know. Gotta think. I probably. Thinking logically, uh, the stamp is probably past me already. Oh, I thought that I had to be a cat. Oh, wait. That sucks. Ah! I just did like a cartwheel flip. Forward. And... Nope, I... Oh, I have a... Yeah, that works. Wall jumping is always the answer. Okay. Ugh! Yay! And the people that said that, like, that long jumping in this game is actually not really that effective as well, they're wrong. Because I can get to the flagpole 99% of the time when I'm actually uh, properly long jumping. So, yeah. I have no idea if any of these clear scores are actually any that good. I don't know why it even bothers showing the score so much. They're just like, oh yeah, look at look, look at your score. It's so fancy. Whoa. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we completed... I think that's actually the first level that I actually legitimately, like, 100% completed then. 
Oh, what is this, a slot machine? But, like, still, like, I actually got the gold flag for that, of getting to the top of the flagpole, plus the, the stamp and three stars. The three-star program. Okay. I feel- I, I always feel the need to, like, hit the coins. You see, a, like, a block that's a question block? You always have to hit it. Even if the question block has, uh, like, a, a poisonous mushroom in it, you just always gotta get it. You always gotta like, touch it because it's just so enticing. Hit the blocks and make the pictures line up and you could win up to 7,000. No, not 7,000. 777 coins. Get an extra life for every 100 coins to collect. Obviously. Now, I think that I heard... Oh, so they, they make noises when I actually, like, hit them. It sounds like Peach, just like in a muffled, like, echoing voice. Either that or it would be like Rosalina, maybe, I don't know. But I hear that what you're supposed to do is you're actually supposed to match, like, go in tune with the song to try to, like, get this perfectly, but since I have audio delay, I won't be able to do that, so I'm just gonna go press randomly. I, well, at least I got two cherries. That's something. Oh, look at that! That looks so awesome! The coins just rain from the ceiling. It's like the cards in, uh... When you beat, like, Solitaire on a PC. It's just like, oh, wow, the cards are raining from the sky. Or maybe that was Hearts. If you win at Hearts? No, wait, Hearts you can't win at, really. I think it, it must be, like, Solitaire. Something like that. I don't know. Well, let's get on to the first Bowser place! And I guess that- oh, that must be just the place that you go to, uh, you know, get forward. Move forward. And I don't remember if I actually have an extra item on my inventory. I think I probably do still have the Mario- yeah, I have still have the Cat Mario, but... Oh well, let's just- just because... Uh, I want to be a cat. So I'm just gonna do that. That way. Because, I mean, you, you don't want to just leave a- a mushroom house behind. I just can, wait. Can you just keep going in here or what? Oh, okay, maybe not. I was thinking that that's just like an exploit right there, waiting to happen. Just oh yeah, I, I want more items. I'm just gonna go back in there. So I think that it would at least like close the door or something like that. But whatever. Oh. Make Catmara spaz out. He's still moving forward while looking partially backward. He's doing the stutter step from like uh, Starcraft. I only need 10 to get in there? Okay, well, I, I have 17. What say you now, Bowser? Oh. I just smashed your gate. Like, really spectacularly. I, don't, I didn't know that it was made out of glass, but I mean, you know. Maybe you should have uh, some better building materials next time, instead of just going to the beach and, like, using your fire breath all over it. To build your castles, Mr. Bowser Man. Bowser's Highway Showdown. Oh, man. I have a feeling this is probably going to be Bowser's uh, special car, then. Because I know that Bowser has a car, from what I've seen in the trailers. And... what about that one? Oh! Okay, I just hit an invisible plate. Oh! No! Okay, so I guess if you just get hit by those things, you get uh, damaged. <laughs> I thought that I could kick it. Still, as all of these things are, it's, uh, it's a learning experience. Ugh. No, you don't, Goombas. No! I, was, I should have done that on top of them. Do the pound. Everybody do the pound. The ground pound of dreams. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Good thing cats have long legs. Yes, they have long legs. It's, it's perfectly uh, a well-known fact. Yeah. Along with their, uh, paws and stuff. I, I don't even know. Then they have their long legs. Well, I don't, why do I even need to have that thing on there? Because I can always just... Oh! Okay, maybe I, you can't actually exploit the game like that, then. I thought you could, but, uh, maybe, uh... Maybe they patched it in the amount of time that I just, uh, talked about it while uh, not going offline and just keep playing the game. It totally makes sense. They were watching this before I even watched it, or made the, the video yet. See what I- Oh, so the Goombas just fall down if you- Oh, they, and they fall on your head. That's just great. But how do you- How does one- 
Do, 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 oh, so you have to jump on it. Okay. You gotta pretend this is soccer. And you get your uh, stamp. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. See, because I... My plans... I was gonna say my plans are subpar. Not quite, because I mean, that was, that was pretty good. I am smart. I am the smarty of nations. Oh, man. Oh! Oh, man. No, Mario, please. I... At least I survived. Oh, man. The death music I just noticed is like, uh... I think that might actually be like the Super Mario World thing. I don't remember. So at least I heard that it was possibly something like that, but I mean... That, that was pretty awesome. I almost want to die again just so I can hear that music. Although it makes no sense whatsoever. Cat Mario activates! Aha! Using their own uh, inventions of death to kill them. Oh no! I gotta stop doing that. Ah! <laughs> that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Okay, let's let's do this all over again then. One more time. <laughs> Although, I guess if it, if I do really like dumb things like that a lot in levels, I might I could just cut out entire lives, and then nobody will know. It's just like. Why, why do you only have one life left right now? Oh, I, I just only died once, though. It's, it's totally a glitch in the game, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Try not to pretend you have a Tanuki suit. Because <laughs> that's basically what I was thinking, I think, in a way. Those Tanuki suits... And their awesomeness of letting you float forever and be uh, OP. Because, yeah, Tanuki suits are pretty amazing. To say the least. Because, like, cat suits are pretty good and all, but Tanuki. Tanuki is the way you should, uh, go! <sighs> I, I was thinking I was gonna die there or something. It was, that was gonna be bad. Was, was, I think there was just coins on top of those swamps, weren't there? It wasn't really that necessary. Something like that, yeah. But also, it's still, it's kind of crazy that... These, uh, you know, if you fall off the side, you're not necessarily dead when you're being a cat. Because I mean, I was at the bot. I wasn't even on the screen anymore. I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm dead. I thought, I thought I was just flying forever. I was falling into the abyss. But no, it, I just happened to be, uh, you know, oh, uh, doing that thing where yeah. Uh, just barely survive and climb up walls. I just noticed I have 64 coins. How very fitting. Not quite, not quite, because this is still not Super Mario 64. Even though that one level was just like, oh man, so awesome. <laughs> what, what kind of horn is that supposed to even be? This is really awesome music, by the way. I just have to say that. What happens if I... Okay, so I can't actually just use my cat ability to just smash him. Smack the ball back. But man, like, this is... This is like hardcore rock and, and the action right here. Oh! Okay, so that one, uh, I screwed up. Ah! This is so weird that, like, we're... We're playing... Playing sports while, uh, getting attacked by Bowser. Ah! Why did some of them just explode? It's like always the last one or what? Okay, I need to press the back button. I need my cats. Okay, there we go. Now I go like this. Oh, maybe not. Now I go like this. Yeah, there we go. I'm really happy that I had that cat suit because I... I don't feel like dying anymore. So I don't care anymore. And stuff. I don't know why Bowser's just, like, hitting the ground right next to him. If you want to do that, I'll just back up. The screen doesn't uh, kill me if I walk away from you. Oh, man! Oh, maybe I'm actually supposed to be going after him now. Maybe I'm supposed to hit that thing right there. Or make him, like, fall off the edge. Because don't push me. 
and so on, because I don't even, like, know what that song even is. I've only ever heard, like, people talk about it. Because you're not supposed to be pushed, because you're getting close to the edge, and then you die. No! Uh, never! Why does it always happen on the last one he throws? It explodes when I touch it! That's crazy, Fiend. He's so smart. Okay. I really hope that there's, like, some sort of, like, mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. Because I need to, uh, I need to survive. No! How did I not die there? I guess that's just my pure luck that I'm always have. Ing. Okay, so the ones that are already red are the ones you probably shouldn't be touching then. I think that's what they're trying to say. Oh, wow. This is, this is just insanity. Okay, I'm not going down there. Screw that, Bowser. You can, you can do what you like, but I'm not going down there. <laughs> okay, let's, let's play some, uh, soccer like, uh, all the, uh, kids today like to do. And pretend that, like, you're, it's a father and son picnic or something. Come on. So I, but I think that you can actually just, like, go ahead and kick this thing. Yeah, you can just, like, kick it when uh, you are, uh, you know, you don't actually have to go ahead and jump on top of it. But I guess it, like, it looks like when you jump on top of it, it actually knocks it at Bowser if you just kick it. Oh, no, I'm running out of time. Okay. No, no, I missed. And that one's going to explode, so I don't touch it. So Bowser's a tricksy one. Ah! No! Why? I'm gonna run out of time here. Ah! There we go. So maybe I just had to hit it back to his car enough times then, as well. At least he's only falling into the ocean this time. And Team Rocket's blasting off again! That just had to be a reference right there, totally. But, man, I am so close to, I was so close to losing that so many times. But as a classic way of uh, anything that I do, I am always very good at just being just, uh, just barely able to survive. So am I supposed to capture this thing first or what? I can't jump that high, I'm sorry, I can't pop the cork. It's too difficult for me. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna go up here already. And hopefully... I don't know if Mini Mario can actually, like... Long jump? No, I think he needs to be bigger to be able to get the... The gold. So I'll have to actually play that level again sometime, but whatever. It's not like I need to 100% this game. Well, maybe you do. I don't know if, it, what, if you get anything if you 100% it. You might be able to get something. Hey, a Bowser sticker. Pretty cool. Now let's see what uh, this Sprixy person has to say. And why is Bowser's car just like freaking out there? Because it, it is, it was like exploded into the ocean, right? So, I, what, what's what's with that? Why? Oh, so with her magic, she spawned a team of uh, construction workers to build that, because that's what that sounded like it was happening there. That's totally what happened. And she just, like, doesn't even do anything. She just, after she, she, she's done, she just kind of hangs out and does nothing. Oh, that's always a good thing. Come on. Yeah. I didn't actually know that I was going to get a one up there, but if I did know, then that would be pretty smart. But maybe, I wonder if you actually get any stamps from those uh, Captain Toad levels. So I got, like, a stamp in, like, everything else. I'm pretty sure, so that's that's always good. And I was just going with the jumps. I'm always jumpy. Ugh. Oh yeah, so this is always, uh, again, the second world is always Sand World. Where, uh, this time we're having to save, like, a, a yellow-haired Sprixy thing. Oh, what is, what is this? Because that doesn't look like a level. Like, seriously though, what, what is this? 
Is it a fancy tote house? A stamp house? Um, all right? So there's stamp houses now, maybe? I, I, I just don't even know. I just, I just like to, but like, see these things spin around in circles. So what's with that? Only the toads are too lazy to spin now. That's too much work for them. I don't want to spin around, no. That's totally Toad's voice. All of the Toads. All of the Toads. Toad's worth. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think that's probably a good place to end for now. Of uh, me in this main little recording here. Although, can I, oh, I can't jump on top of those things. And why, why are they like, they're like pyramids or like sand dunes that are bouncing up and down. As always, most things in Mario are sentient. Sentient, that is. But yeah, I think this the next time I will be playing, I will start on the second world here. With uh, this, uh, what would you call that? Maybe like an emu? Or whatever other things like bury their heads in the ground because they're like afraid and they have long necks. Then we can eventually get upside this thing. This bear is just too t terrible to be able to jump high. This is a small little edge, man. You can you can do it, but whatever. That's that's it for now, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Goodbye for now.